I didn't know until the last year of college what I was even going to be doing uh, with my life. Um, a lot of people got into cardiac rehab. They stayed in school for physical therapy. They became, uh, you know, sports coaches for a school. Um, some of them just didn't use their degree at all. So me, I was really into working out. I love the science that I was studying, and I also love the um, science of it you know, understanding how to do everything uh, versus just what you're taught in the gym and hopefully that's right, okay? So I always wanted to learn more and just to be smarter at training. Um, when I started college though, I was a finance major. Um, good with numbers, but it was a very boring job, didn't fit my personality, um, and honestly, I can't sit still. So that's when I changed degree plans when I went to Texas State. Uh, my last year of college, that's when um, ESPN Sports Science did a segment with the Auburn uh, Tigers and the Oregon Ducks and they played a national title game and uh, Auburn had Cam Newton, who's now in the NFL, obviously. So when watching this segment, they're just going over the recruiting differences, uh, training philosophy differences, what parts of the science they tap into the most. Uh, and that totally blew my mind because it really spoke deeper to me that there are similarities in training athletes to be at elite levels, but also other uh, deciding factors on how you go about it and how you can really make them excel. So it was at that time, my last year of college, when I said, I want to train athletes, but I didn't know anything else after that. If I'm being really honest, I didn't know, do you go for a college, go for an NFL team, other high schools that hire these guys? Uh, do you work at a gym? Uh, everybody at a gym who I ever saw train athletes really just did it for like a fun sports camp in the summers, okay? Um, so I didn't want to do that really. And is there big commercial gyms that do it? Were there small mom and pop studios? I had no idea what was out there. I had no idea even how big the uh, youth sports and youth training industry was and becoming to, to this day, okay? So I knew I had to get learning under somebody and luckily I had an internship requirement to finish my degree and that's where I met my mentor Sean Dassey uh, he was one city over so he had all the experience that I wanted and somebody to mentor me he had um, played division one sports at Iowa State got his bachelor's and master's there worked at uh, Drake University with a basketball team for strength conditioning then he went private performance uh, in California and had over 30 first round draft picks in basketball, football, and baseball. Um, then he eventually moved his family down to uh, Texas. So that's who I learned under, um, but I still didn't know how he could help me. I started off at a YMCA where he was a um, fitness and sports director at. But most of that time, um, getting adult clients who need to be healthy and stronger was a lot easier. And I still do that today, but that was the main focus right there while I had to slowly build my name to get parents to pay me to train their kids, right? Um, adults can be more willing to give another adult money for training them versus, you know, somebody with their kids, I think, at least in my experience. So I went under a mentorship with Sean, started off with a one semester internship and then about seven or eight more months as an employee. Sean eventually moved his way down to San Antonio, uh, back where I was from and he became a sports director from somebody who already had a small private studio. And a few months after he left, he brought me along. Okay, so that's when I really got my first full-time uh, experience training athletes. I was really excited, I moved back. Um, There's just one problem. The place wasn't doing too well and both he and I uh, were not given those details. So while I'd go in days really excited to train athletes because that's a, most of my clientele in the evening was going to be athletes. You know, they did football, basketball, baseball, soccer, uh, volleyball. They, the company was so far under, we couldn't always get paid. So I was basically doing another internship while trying to struggle on weekends to make money um, to pay my bills. The place, unfortunately, uh, evolved. It closed down and filed bankruptcy. And as a staff, we wound up in a 
another gym, and some of you might remember this place because it was all over the United States. It was called Velocity, okay? Uh, Velocity had closed down actually a year before, and it became uh, Elite Athletics, um, if I'm being really uh, technical. So we go inside there, 20,000 square foot uh, facility, has the big turf, all the big giant lifting rigs and everything, 40 yard track, it was awesome. Um, you know, we became the team and uh, there was less stress because you know, we're not the ones paying the bills. Uh, so we go at it, we're having a great summer, um, ramp ramping up their, uh, their business and everything as the new staff. But then we find out how much in debt they really are. And there was no way we were coming out of helping them with six figures in debt <laughs> after like so many years. It, it was bad and it became a lot of stress and we all left and went our different ways. For about a year, I worked for uh, Gold's Gym and I also worked for a physical therapy um, a company. One of my athletes from the other gym, Elite Athletics, his dad owned five clinics and he let me get hours in the morning as a technician. Okay, so bouncing around, making multiple jobs. This is all within a year and a half of uh, leaving uh, the small city after graduating college. Okay, so post college was definitely stressful, um, but I thought that's just how the grind was, right? I didn't know any better. And then I worked for Gold's Gym, okay, big uh, nationwide company. Actually, it's in other countries too, and it's mostly a, it's mostly adults, okay? It's not fully what I want to do, but it pays the bills, okay? I still get to practice what I went to school for. Eventually, I start training kids out at the football fields, okay? I'm just doing all the speed and agility stuff I can, anything with cones, hurdles, uh, resistance bands, using the track. Uh, all that good stuff, okay? Very simple stuff. I decided, I was like, you know, I wanna go and do that 100% starting January 2016. And this is like April or May 2015 when I decided that. Fast forward to September when I was training those athletes on the side, uh, corporate got wind of it. They saw some social media pages of mine for training athletes and I got fired for breaking the no compete agreement. Okay. Um, this was a little stressful because it was four months before I really, um, wanted to go and save up money. And so now I'm in the middle of a fall season. Uh, most of my athletes are football players and they're all in practices and games. So I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just trying to get kids on weekends at this point uh, and still wait tables to make the, the bills get paid. Okay, so that's how I started off in 2016. But luckily, some of those guys I trained in the fall did really well, and it started teaching me how their success can bring me more clients. Getting to know parents can bring more clients, okay? So I struggled a little bit in 2016, but it wasn't as bad as it could have been. It was actually way better than working at Golds. I was a little more independent. I was just training at the fields and the track. Uh, all I needed was decent weather and the gates to be open, okay? So I've been my own business for seven years of 10 years out of college. Um, I've tried so many uh, systems for marketing um, and word of mouth and knowing how to talk to parents has been the best. Knowing how to talk to coaches has been the best. Getting kids really excited and building a relationship with them to where they wanna tell their other friends and their parents to come. Uh, I've managed to go from middle five figures up to six figures for multiple years. And that is the fifth straight year of doing that. And so that is no fluke. I'm continually always learning to grow, work smarter. Um, in the beginning, I never knew what, what I wanted my income to be or what, how many hours a week I wanted to work, um, how smart to work. Uh, you know, I had a lot of payment mistakes, uh, you know, getting money as I went instead of getting money up front okay so i did a lot of things the hard way and if i could go back there would be a lot of things i changed but i've done a lot of smart things now that you will learn in our accelerator uh, coaching course for make money coaching sports if you have if you ever want to just contact me ask me about my experiences more discuss your experiences then there's a um, call to action below this and you're going to go to swift performance training at gmail.com or you can text me first at 210-414-3077.